Hey guys, it's Adrian here. Welcome to our late night live sale. I'm sorry I'm so late. The traffic was insane today on the freeway and I was at a store in LA and they were having difficulties with the register when I was trying to check out and I was literally just going to leave everything there but they were like, no, we'll fix it and it took forever so I apologize profusely but um, welcome to the live sale. I'm so sorry I'm so late. I haven't been this late in so long. I've been trying really hard to be on time. But I apologize uh, for being so late. But hi, everyone. How are we doing tonight? Uh, let's see who's in here. There's Angela, Odelia, Trip. Hi, West Coast Gal, Linda, Cindy, DG House. Hi, guys. I'm sorry I'm so late. Oh, my gosh. I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm, like, literally sweating. I was, like, running to get everything inside. Hi, Apatia. Um... Happy Saturday. Did you guys have a good day today, though? Did anyone do anything fun? I'm, s like, it was a crazy day. Um, and it was really warm. <laughs> hey, Dodo Bird, how's it going? Uh, I, t what do I have for a giveaway tonight? I don't think I even have anything, um, to give, but... As an apology for being so late, let's do something really, really good. Um, <gasps> okay, this is tonight's giveaway. I have this. And it is one of these guys. This is the Starbucks Cold Cup Keychain. And it's in, like, the iridescent um, rainbow color. Uh, yeah. Let's do this as the giveaway, okay? So this is tonight's giveaway. And hey, Tanya, how's it going? And if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question, we can get started. Let me just get all of my notes set up for the evening. And what day is it? Oh, today's the 22nd. Second. Did anyone do any thrifting today? I went to LA today and it was I haven't driven out there on a Saturday in a hot second and it was nuts. Hey 007. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. So as an apology for being so late. So a lot of people probably left already. <laughs> Because I was like 30 minutes late. Ooh, what is your go to takeout? Or I like that West Coast gal. That is a good question. Oh, hi, Lady3310. How's it going? Hey, Robin. How are you? Don't forget to enter, Robin. Enter the giveaway. Let me leave the link, uh, the giveaway link as well. Hold on one second. Let's do that. Um, where is it? Oh, let's do the California Science Center video. Because I don't think I used that one. Okay, this is the link. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. What's your go-to takeout order? What is my go-to takeout? I don't really have a go-to takeout order, I think, because we don't really get takeout too much, ever. Um, maybe, like... I have no clue. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Hana, how's it going? Yeah, Britt always has really good questions. Thank you. I really like... I don't know. I'm horrible at thinking of questions. I always ask you guys. Okay. Let's get started. Uh, let's do our first item. And it's... Oh, okay. This is super duper cute. Um... This thing is, like, all stuck. Okay. This is a super cute long chomp 
wristlet like pouch bag. It is adorable. It is uh it's all leather and it comes with the box. I don't know if the but the tags inside. Let's see, I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh yeah. It has um the little care booklet and I don't think it has the original tag, but it honestly looks brand new. Uh, super cute. It's tiny. It can fit, like, credit cards and stuff. It's actually a pretty good size because it is, like, pretty wide. And then it has this little wristlet right here that you can remove. You can uh, make this into a charm for like a handbag and just carry it by itself. You can attach your keys on here. It's really, really fun. Again, it's all leather, silver hardware, and it will come with the, uh, the long chomp box as well. So this is gonna be our first item, our long chomp. Hi, Carmen. Oh, Carmen. Well, we're here to keep you company. Um, there's not really anywhere, like, it doesn't have rings or anything to attach a crossbody strap to. Like, it just has the D ring on here. So, I don't know how, like, you'd be able to add one unless you put, like, grommets on the sides. Like, I know a lot of people on TikTok are doing that. Um, but this just has the little D ring on the back with the wristlet on it. But I mean, you can, you could attach, like you can make it into like almost like a necklace or something, or like carry it, like put, like attach both pieces right here and then it'll kind of just like dangle on the back, but it doesn't have anything on the sides to attach like a strap to. Hi, Christina, how are you? Okay, so this is our, First item, our long chomp, nano long chomp, uh, cross embossed leather. Hi, Diana, how are you? Wristlet with silver hardware and box. And this is going to be how much food room for this one? Okay, we're going to do this one for 120. And that's going to be our first item for the night. 120 for our super cute little long chomp wristlet. Oh, this is mine. Look what I got for Zachary. Isn't it so cute? It's this little Stanley cup. It's so fun. It has like a... Uh, I don't know what it's called. It looks like... It's like a purple cloud. I don't know. It's really cool. It, it had, I got him matching Crocs that go with that perfectly, so I know he's going to be so excited. <gasps> Don! How are you? How are you liking um, California? Where did you go today? Anywhere exciting? Alright, next up, number two... I have, um, this one is, oh, this is a belt bag by And Other Stories. It's a really nice one. It's like, it's really great black leather. It has silver hardware. The leather is super duper soft. There's a nice big front pocket. And then the main compartment is just open just like that. There's no other pockets inside of there and then nice thick belt strap this one would be a great just like body bag to carry like this and the leather like i said is super duper soft and it's in really great shape there might be a little bit of um discoloration on the hardware where i attach the zipper some of the silver is coming off but i feel like it adds to the look it's kind of like um like biker chic, right? But this is gonna be our next item. Oh, nice, Don. Did you do any shopping? 
I was on, I was actually like right near where you were today. Rodeo isn't too far from where I was at. Okay, this is our black and other stories belt bag with silver hardware. And this is going to be... Okay, let's do this one for $40 for zero. It's going to be item number two. Oh my gosh, Angela, I saw that one. My mom was almost, gonna, she was like this close to ordering it. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here, Diana. Oh my gosh, Dawn, did you find anything good? How was the Goodwill in Beverly Hills? That's the one off of, I forget the name of the street. But it's like right there. <laughs> at the good wait 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 Don I totally forgot you have to use did you get um if you bought anything from the Goodwill did you use the coupon because the LA Goodwills if you spend over I think twenty dollars you can use their monthly coupon if you don't have it let me know and I'll send it to you in case you go to another Goodwill yeah we want to know Don what did you buy did you bring an empty suitcase or are you gonna ship it all back to you Say, ooh, I've never been there. Okay, so that was item number two. Is our and other stories the belt bag. Then next up, oh hold on, I have a bunch of stuff in here. All right, next up, this one is a good one. This is a Duty and Burke Black Florentine Satchel. It is beautiful. I, the leather, amazing. I love the black, the, le the black Florentine leather too. It's so, so pretty. We have the brushed brass hardware. And then we got the um, that red interior lining. There is some discoloration at the very bottom. Very minor though. Nothing major. And I don't think there's any other, like, major marks or pen marks or anything. It just has some slight discoloration at the bottom of the lining just from normal wear. But the exterior is in fantastic condition. All the corners are really good. And the leather is beautiful. And the hardware also looks pretty good. There are, like, some just normal marks on the hardware from use, but no, like, crazy discoloration or anything. Just some, like, just regular marks, just, like, the regular scratches that you get on there from using it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be item number three. This is our black Dooney and Burke Florentine satchel with brushed gold hardware. Oh my gosh, Sam! The Mew Mew bow bag does look very similar to this, for sure. Okay, and this one is going to be how much for for this guy? Okay, let's... Well, you know what? Let's keep this one under $100. I was going to do 95 That's going to be item number three. Oh, I don't get all that. I don't know if I'm a little lemon jacket with a good one that I have any purses. Oh, yeah. The the purses are a little rough um, at the Goodwills right now. Oh, I haven't been putting anything in my notes. Whoopsies. Okay, so that was item number three. Next up is for... Oh, yeah! The runway TJ Maxx is so good in L.A., um, if you, if you are, if you are in the, I know Santa Monica is a little bit further from where you were today. It's probably almost like an hour-ish drive, like maybe 45 minutes from where you were today. But there's a runway TJ Maxx in Santa Monica that also has really, really good stuff. Hi, Norma. But yeah, if you are ever, if you are, if you, you are over there. 
in Santa Monica. Um, just it, Also, you can go to the pier. It's really nice. And they have a crossroads there. They have Buffalo Exchange. I think they just opened up a second street. And there's lots of places to eat. And the Goodwills are also really good over in Santa Monica. So, you know, it's a really cool place if you're able to go over there. Um, next up, I have... Oh, is anyone a size 35? Because um, I have a pair of these gorgeous black leather Valentino rock stud boots. They're a size 35. Um... The Gallant store said that she is a five and a half, and they also fit her, so they can fit a five and a half. But these are black Valentino leather rock stud boots. Um, they don't have like too much crazy wear on them. Uh, there is like some wear toward like towards the heel on the bottom of the back part, but nothing like crazy. It has gold studs. And all the studs are intact. There's none missing. Uh, just normal wear and tear on them. But they're super cute. Valentino rock stud boots. <gasps> Dawn, that is so cute. You got a mini Gucci Marmont. <gasps> you did spend a lot of money, but that is so cute. Oh, a runway TJ Maxx, Diana is the, they're the TJ Maxx's that carry, like, the high-end designer stuff. So they'll have the Gucci, they'll have the Versace, Burberry, Celine, uh, Bottega. They have all, like, the crazy designer stuff. So they also have high-end uh, skincare products as well, shoes. They have, like, um, one time I went, to, my cousin went to the... Santa Monica TJ Maxx and they had like a ton of of Golden Goose sneakers and yeah so the runway TJ Maxx's are pretty cool if you go to the TJ Maxx website and then you go to the locations you can actually select the TJ Maxx runway stores and you can find out if there's any in your area so you can check online Yeah, Diana, you can um, check online and see if there's any near you or any in, like, a drivable distance or, yeah, because they're all over the place. That's an awesome deal. Oh, but the only thing is sometimes the runway stores, like the TJ Maxx runway stores, they can and have had, like, fake items. So... Um, you still got you still kind of got to check to make sure. Cause I was just on TikTok and it was Bethany Frankel was at a TJ Maxx runway store, and she found and bought I think she bought them at least um, fake Manolo Blahniks, and they were like obviously fake. But then like you don't really think about it when you're at TJ Maxx. So yeah, and then they were fake. So that was crazy. Hey Jean. Um, okay, so this is going to be item number four, our black leather Valentino rock stud boots with gold hardware, size 35. And these are going to be, you know, let's do a good deal on these. They're going to be $125 if anyone uh, is interested. These are going to be item number four. $125 for our Valentina Rock sets. Again, they're a size 35, but they can fit up to a size 5.5. But they're so cute. Oh, Steffi. Yeah, even the, the Real Real is notorious for having um, fakes. They're also sometimes, like, uh, they're really bad at just, like, disclosing condition. Like, things will be in, like, new condition. But they're literally, like, super worn. So, you never really know. Sometimes, like, you just gotta look. 
the real real has sold fakes. They've all sold like all of the all the websites have honestly. Um, real real has sold fakes. Fashion file has sold fakes. Like they're all over the place, unfortunately. So you just have to be really like you still have to be really vigilant about um, those things. All right, our next item is item number five. And I have... This guy is a red stud um, satchel. It's super cute. It does have, like, some, like, marks on the leather because it is, like, a smooth, almost like a box feel type leather. It's nice and structured. Uh, it has a crossbody strap, which is removable and adjustable. And then the interior closes with, it has like a drawstring, like compartment on the inside. And it is made out of, uh, suede, and uh, like leather. And then the inside just looks like that. There are like some, I think that's like actually like a sticker. So I'm going to have to see if I can remove it. But there's just some slight discolorations. There's a mark down there at the bottom which I don't know if it's like something might have spilled inside of it um but yeah it's the interior but it's a really cool bag there's the bottom uh, No way! They took off all the embellishments and stuff? That is crazy. <laughs> Hipatia, that's funny. Okay, so this is our um, red stud bag with gold hardware. And this one is going to be... Okay, we're going to do this one for $70, 70. That's item number 5. And then next up is number 6. Okay, these are super cool, but let me get my little shoe shaper things so that way you guys can see them better because they're sandals. But these are so cute. Oh, um, these are a size eight and a half. Um, for anyone that may be interested. They are a Fendi black. They're sandals and they're flats. They are made of satin and leather. And they have, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm like having difficulties getting it on the little, okay, there we go. This is how it, they look. So they have like these um, gold, like metal flower things on the front. And then they have like black crystals in them. And this is how they look. And they don't have like too much wear like on the bottoms. Um, these are a size 38 and a half. And I like that they have, like, this kind of, like, round little, like, small kidney heel thing at the bottom right there. They're about, like, a half an inch tall. But they're super cute. They have little buckles on the side. Oh, wait, which mall did you go to? Hold on, I missed it. Hey, Kirsten. Wait, you went to the Costa Mesa Mall? Oh, why? Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, South Coast Plaza, Laura. Aha, uh -huh. I love South Coast. Good, Dawn, I'm sure you can send me photos. I can look at it. I've seen a ton of Gucci Warm ones. But um, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be okay. If anything, you can always return it anyway, so don't even worry about it. If it did turn out to be fake, but I'm sure it's not. Um, okay, so the shoes, they're super duper cute. Nice and strappy. It's a uh, black satin, and then it has like little leather trim. And then the flowers are just so cute. Um, so there is like some like discoloration to some of like the insole part right here. And the insole is in that satin. Uh, Kirsten, she got she got it from TJ Maxx, the um, one of the runway stores. Okay, perfect, Don. Uh, so this is item number what, five, six. <gasps> Wait, Don, did you go to the Loewe store at in, at South Coast? Uh, black Fendi sandals in uh, satin and leather with gold metal flowers with black jewels, size uh, 38.5. Okay, so Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do these for mm, Okay, we're gonna keep it under a hundred. So we're gonna do ninety-five. Ninety-five dollars if anyone is is interested in the Fendies. Hey Lady Badger! I'm just showing these cute Fendi's. They're size eight and a half. Look at these. I like the little flowers. They kind of remind me of like the, kind of like the flowers that they have in like the Louis Vuitton, like monogram. And also kind of like the Alhambra, like necklaces or bracelets that they have from, uh, what is that brand called? Um, Van Cleef. <gasps> Kirsten, congratulations! You're gonna have so much fun. Okay, so that was item number six. What are Fendi sandals? And they're just ninety-five dollars, and they're a size eight and a half. Next up, we have number seven. Oh, Lady Badger, I have a black Flor Dooney and Burke Florentine satchel. She's a beauty. All right, next. Oh, I also got this cute little long chomp. This is the long chomp bracelet charm. She's cute too. Uh, our next item is going to be. Hey, Purse Curator, how are you? My hair is like... I don't know why my hair is like so frazzled. I feel like it's been frazzled for the past two days. I need to like... Cut it or something. Okay, our next guy is going to... <gasps> Check out this bucket hat though that I got. Um... It's too small for me, but I know, like, the boys and my sister can share it. But it is the cutest, like, Lululemon bucket hat. It has, like, a little buckle right here to, like, you, you can make it tighter, which is perfect. And then it has the little drawstring that, I don't know why they are, like, obsessed with bucket hats having drawstrings. But, I mean, I am too, so it's okay. It's, like, a small medium. Literally, like, I can't even, like, pull it down around my head 
because it's so small. It's like... <laughs> it's like tiny. Um, the long jump was how much rated for the long jump? It was 120. And it comes with like the box and everything. It's in like new condition. <laughs> Imagine if I just like wore this hat like this. Who, oh, it, what was that supermodel's name? Like, she, um, she recently came out of retirement and she did, like, a photo shoot. And then she, like, wore, like, a hat like this. And then she was wearing, like, this full-on, like, scarf, headscarf thing underneath it. Linda Evangelista? Yeah. Linda, like, I remember, like, her hat was, like, literally, like, this. It was, like, sideways. It's so cute. Yeah, she, like, got, like, some, um, she was, she got, like, that procedure where they burn, or no, they freeze your fat or something, like, on your body, and it melts it away, and, like, she had, like, the opposite reaction, and it made, like, it made her gain weight or something, and she became, like, super inflamed. It was crazy. <laughs> no, I got it for the boys. It's going to be for the kids and uh, my sister. They can all share it. Uh, Kirsten, like 99% of all hats are too small for me. Alright, next up is going to be number 7. And we have... I still. Oh my gosh, why is this stuck? <laughs> oh yeah, Vader gave me the Calico Critter hat. Oh, speaking of Calico Critters, I got... Wait, did I even bring it with me or did I leave it in the car? I got, okay, I went to Urban Outfitters today, um, because I was looking for Calico Critters. <laughs> they didn't have any, but they had this, and I don't know what it's called, because I already threw away the box, but they were, like, these little, um, they're, they were all little cats, and then they were dressed up as, like, various sharks, and this one is, like, a little orange cat, he, he looks like my... Uh, my cat that I have when I was younger, and his name was Jack, and he's wearing like a a great white shark outfit, and it's so cute. And his little paw is like sticking out like like this. It's really really cute. So I have this little guy. Uh, I can't help it. Why am I addicted to these cute little things? And now I want all of them because literally they're all so cute. There's a narwhal one. I know he's not a shark, but there's a narwhal. The hammerhead shark one was so cute. And there was like another one. I didn't know like what kind of shark it was, but like he like fell over. But he's also in a little shark outfit. He might have been like a Mako or something. Oh my gosh, the Speedy 20 is so cute. Cool sculpt. That's what it was. <gasps> Steffi, that happened to your legs when you got um cool sculpt done? That is crazy. Yeah, it's like supposed to be like a very small percent of the population has like a negative reaction to cool sculpting, and that happened to Linda Evangelista. Isn't it cute, Kirsten? I gotta collect them all now. Which yeah. I need to, like, dedicate, like, I'm going to make a TikTok, like, the, you know how, like, people make little, t like, TikToks dedicated to, like, opening up tiny little things like this? Like, I need to do it now. But my collection's going to get crazy, and I'm going to be really poor, and I'm going to, like, have a million little critters. Okay, next up is going to be... Uh, oh, this is what I was going to do. Okay, this is a 
really cute. Um, the Wolfgang little belt bag. And it's in this like periwinkle blue suede leather. And then the belt, it has this kind of belt so you can really adjust it to be like a multitude of different lengths, which I really like. But let me show you how it looks as a, a body bag. Just how it would look like a body bag. And it still has like the little protective sticker on the hardware. And then this flips up like this. And then it does zip inside right there. Take it off. Okay, it zips. Um, it does zip on the inside. And then it has one interior pocket in there. And it's in nice, clean condition. There's no, like, marks or discoloration anywhere on the leather or um, on the interior lining. And it's just in this really pretty light blue color. And then it has uh, gold hardware. Yeah, but you can't wear it like a crossbody. Um, okay, so this is our, um, the Wolf Gang Harry Winkle Blue Suede Leather Belt Bag with Gold Hardware. And this one is... Okay, we're going to do this one for $65, and that's going to be item number 7. All right, next we have a number eight. And let's do... Oh, okay. This is gonna be an as-is. This is gonna be a little project bag. Uh, but this is a Mark by Mark Jacobs, um, like a hobo crossbody bag and it's in red with gold hardware um it has like some stainage here on the front and on the sides i don't know i i feel like um something might have like like paint or something nail polish got on it so it kind of has like purpley and purple and pink like paint on it um and then there is like rubbing and like some slight discoloration throughout. There's also some uh, wear on the hardware, this discoloration, and some of the edge coating is cracking up around where the handle connects. And then the inside is clean though, it has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the interior. And the exterior just needs a little help. You can either touch it up the same color or you can paint it or dye it black or another color that you like. I think it's the lighting. It is like a, a it is red. I think the lighting is like kind of like bouncing off and making it look pink. Okay, uh, Red Leather Mark by Mark Jacobs. Hobo shoulder bag with gold hardware. And this one is going to come out to $25. And this is an as-is bag. 25 for number 8. It's definitely like like a cherry red. It is a it's a warmer red, so it has like orangey undertones. 
I don't know, on camera, I think it's because of my lighting. It's making it look a little like a cooler tone red. And it's making it look a little pinkish. But it's definitely like a red with like like a hint of orange in it. It's, it's definitely a real red, Steffi. Alright, next up we have number nine. Okay, I don't have much stuff left, you guys. <laughs> I didn't really get too much stuff today. It was um, just a long day of driving around. Okay, next up. this. Okay, this is a Ted Baker dress. I'm going to see if any of you guys are interested in it. But um, it's brand new with the tags still attached. Um, and it's a size 5. Which I believe is like a large, extra large. And it is really, really pretty. Hold on, try that. This is how it looks. It's long sleeve. Um, it does have like a slip lining inside. But the, like the shell of the dress is sheer. And it's really pretty. I'm going to like move that. And it's like um, it's like a little bit above or at the knee length, and it's really pretty. I feel like this dress could fit me. Okay, so this is going to be item number nine. This is our new with tags, Ted Baker, um, blue printed dress, um, size five, which is like an XL. And this one's going to be how much paper? What? Yes, Hana. Okay, we're going to do this one for 65. That's number nine. It's like, yeah, it's a good, like, this would definitely fit me if I put it on, <laughs> which I'm not. <laughs> but, yeah, tonight's giveaway, you guys, is this Starbucks keychain charm. So cute. It's the rainbow iridescent one. So you guys got to enter. That is going to be... Um, so the question is, what is your go-to takeout order? And I will leave the link for you guys. Right there. Okay, that's our dress. Kristen, it's so cute, right? <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm like choking. This shirt is like, this is that, um, what's this shirt again? The, the Metallica shirt. But I forgot the brand, what was it? I don't remember anymore. My my head is not it's not working. Oh, Steffi! I'm glad you like them. Those glasses are so cute. I wish they were bigger so they would fit me. Like I'm actually like super jealous of you. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are so hard to find. I actually got these from Sandra. So, I got this one, and I got a blue one that I got from her. It was a while ago. Do you guys remember when um, when I got it? Alright. Next up. Oh, I wanted to see if I could remove this mark on here, I think. 
think it will come out though. Where are my wipes? Okay, wish me luck that this mark comes off. Okay, it's slowly coming off. This is gonna be painstaking. Okay, I'll finish this later. I just need to be careful when I do it. Um, this is a coach little shoulder bag. You can attach like a crossbody strap to it if you wanted because they are like rings on the side. But it is in this like super fun like, I don't even know what to call this treatment to the leather. Like, they're, like, cut and then, like, sewn on. They're all, like, different pieces of leather. Some are suede. Some are metallic. Some are just, like, a regular grain leather. And then it has, like, it's, like, ombres down. It just reminds me of, like, pinatas. You know? How, like, pinatas are with, like, the roughly paper. that's uh, on both sides. There are, like, these marks right here on top. I think I can get them out. But, hold on, let me try an eraser on this, actually. A little better. Like, I think, like, some sticky... Oh, this is working better. I think it's like a limited edition bag. What does it say on the inside? Uh, cowhide trim. Da -da -da, and doesn't say anything else. The inside is in. Oh, it also does have this fun tassel right there as well. It has one zipper pocket on the inside and then two open pockets and it's in this like super fun lime green color in there and it has a magnetic snap uh, at the top. But it's so fun, especially with the little tassel. And then it has a little coach hang tag right here in brass. But like, okay, even if I can't get the marks off completely, they're on just one side. Um, the other side is nice and clean and then this ow I hit my head on the table this is how it looks on the shoulder it's a good size yeah definitely small head glasses Steffi not for me <laughs> all right so this is gonna be item number 10 okay this is number 10. Our coach, I'm going to call it the coach pinata bag in blues and greens with brass hardware. And this is going to be, okay, we're doing this guy for $85. That's going to be item number 10. Okay, and then next up, the number 11. Guys, I'm so hungry. <laughs> ah. Okay. So fun. I love this bag. It's so cool. Adrian is babysitting right now. And the little girl he's babysitting is giving Adrian a run for their money. I can't believe she wants to go outside. It is late. It is time to go to sleep. I, it's a good one. I think the boys are still watching a movie or something too. Oh 
from texting John. All right, next up is 11. And for number 11, I have, uh, oh, I have these Fendi sunglasses. These are in a brown tortoise shell. They have the round Fendi logo hardware on the sides in a gunmetal color. These are a good size. Definitely fit my big head. A oh, good night, Dawn. Have fun tomorrow. And this is number, uh, wait, is it number 11? Or number 12? Okay, these are number 11. Our Fendi tortoise shell sunglasses with gunmetal hardware. And these are. And these are in wonderful condition. They're like in really, really great shape. Okay, these are gonna be a hundred and thirty dollars. No, that's gonna be number eleven. Oh my gosh, Don! I'm so excited for you for tomorrow. It's gonna be such a fun day. And then 12, we have, oh, uh, this is a Claire Vivier belt bag, and this one is in snake print leather, and then it has a black and orange leather zipper pull, which are really fun. There's two of them. And then this, the belt is in black leather with gold hardware, and then interior is in this chambray fabric lighting. This one is also in like new condition. Super cute. This is how it looks on. I'm ready to go. Look at me, sunglasses and a bag. This is number 12, Claire Vivier snake print belt bag. And this is going to be Okay, we're going to do this one for $75. It's going to be item number 12. Okay, and then number 13. Lucky number 13 is going to be our last item. This is all I have for you guys tonight. Unfortunately. Um, oh, yeah, it's already 11.30. Okay, I have. These are Chanel Ballet Flats. They are a size 37 and a half. And they are in this, like, tan color. Um, they do have some wear. I would try to fix it myself, but I will just leave it as is. You guys, like, if you want, you can bring it to, like, a cobbler or do it yourself. But th there is, like, scuffing on the very tips. Um, I feel like the body of the shoes are not too bad. It's just, like, general wrinkling of the leather some discoloration on the inside. The bottoms are not like too bad at all. And that's that's on both of them. They're like yeah, they're in decent shape. It's really just the toe caps where there is some um wear. There. But they're a really pretty color. Again they're a 37 and a half. And these are item number 13, our Chanel tan leather ballet flats, size 37.5. And these are going to be, these are going to be $150. That's going to be number 13. That's our last item for the night. Number 13. 150 for our Chanel belly flats. I would fix them up. I really have no time to do it at all. My aunt, like my uh, my family's coming next week, and I have so much stuff to do around the house. It's crazy. All right. Thank you, Dodo Bird. They're really cute shoes. 
I know my mom is gonna be really sad that they're not gonna fit her. So, yeah. But they are a beautiful color too. Like that is such a good neutral. Um, but let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway. Again, I'm so sorry I was so late. That tra that LA traffic, man. Same, Kirsten. <laughs> Same. Alright, here's the link one more time for the giveaway. Again, we're giving away this super cute Starbucks charm. Oh, thanks, Steffi. I'm glad you like it. That bag is so cute. Okay. And I'm really glad you like the glasses, because those, those, uh, those Ray-Bans, so cool. Like, I'm obsessed. Yeah, Hada, it's the worst. Usually, like, on, like, Saturday nights, like, it's usually not too bad, but, like, for some reason, there were, like, five million accidents, or, like, Someone got a flat tire, and then everyone's, like, trying to see what's happening, and it's literally nothing. But everyone has to, like, take a look, and it's just horrendous. But nothing beats the traffic in the Philippines. Oh, you have not seen it till you go to the Philippines. It is one of the worst, like, places for traffic. It is so bad. Sometimes it's faster to just walk, honestly, in the Philippines. The only thing I need to work on my techniques. Ooh, Hana, are you post? Are you gonna make a video, or have you posted any photos or anything? Now that I'm thinking about takeout, like I would love to have some sushi right now. Like that just sounds so good. I just want some sushi. I can't wait. I think when um my aunt comes, we'll like go to like a sushi restaurant or something. Sure. I think that would be so yummy. So the normal pen and watercolor I used to. Oh yeah. Ooh, but Hana, have you tried like paint techniques that look like watercolor on bags? I feel like that would be so pretty. Have you done that before? I tried to make a video Okay, are you guys ready to pick our winner? Oh my gosh, my back is broken. Okay, in three, two, one, do, 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 do. our winner tonight is Cookies Form 397. I love getting fried chicken, preferably Popeyes. <gasps> I love Popeyes, that sounds good. Wait, Cookies Form 397, I think, I, I don't, th I don't think um, you've ever purchased anything, so make sure... To send me your email, or not send me your email, but send me your info so we can send this out to you. Um, but congratulations. I posted a design on this card that. Ooh, I'm going to have to check it out, Hana. Also, I'm going to leave the link really quickly for our Discord group. If anyone would like to join. 
Um, what else I guess to say again? I'd say. Um, the next live is probably going to be on a t maybe Tuesday, and I think that might be the last live for that week until Saturday. Because it just it really depends on how quickly I can get everything situated at the house. But I'll let you guys know. Just make sure to turn on those notifications. Because I still want, like, I want to do more um, garage sale stuff. It's just been um, a lot. But congratulations, Cookies. You are the winner of our Starbucks little charm right there. And then here's the link, you guys. I'm going to leave it in the live chat for you. Um, if you would like to join our Discord group. Also, if you're watching this live after it's already over, uh, check down below in the description box. I don't build the and their pricing is going to be down there. And you can send me an email if you're interested or have any questions about anything. Also, um... I've, I've gotten a couple messages about the Loewe puzzle bag. Um, the bag, unfortunately, slash fortunately, has sold, so it's no longer available. Um, and yeah, that's it for tonight, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Again, I'm so sorry I was late. I love you guys, though. I, I apologize profusely. Um, good night, Diana. Um, have a good rest of your week. Try to get some rest. But thank you for joining us tonight. It's nice to see you. And everyone have a great Sunday tomorrow. I love you all immensely. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right? All right. Good night, guys. Adios. Sayonara. Adivadenci. Bon voyage.